again for the grand finale of the Holiday Marathon. This time we're looking at Marsupilami Huba Adventure. Now this is one series that until a few months ago I never even knew about. Uh, apparently it isn't all that well known here out west and um, outside of Europe. And um, Marsupilami it started out back in like the mid 20th century in, in a Belgian comic. Uh, the Adventures of Spiru and Fantagio. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. And uh, created by Andre Franken. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and uh, years later, he'd Marsupilami would have his own his own stories, and uh, he even had a few few animated series. Anyway, yeah, let's uh let's get started. Well, it is a short game. It's a pretty good one. And, um... Yeah, it actually feels like... As far as platformers go, it's like a DKC light done right. Alright. Alright, so... And, uh, storyline, while not having... Well, having nothing to do with um, with uh, older stories in the in the franchise, uh, the island or the land of Columbia, uh, it's been cursed with uh, with this, this evil spirit of sarcophagus, and everything is uh, is following its uh, falling victim to it, except for the marsupilamis. <laughs> And get three of them to choose from here. While they don't, while they don't uh, differ any as far as abilities or attributes, it's nice they give you that that option. All right, let's see here. All right, let's see if I can get the rest of the collectibles here. Yeah, for some of us here in, in the Americas, can't help but wonder, where has this series been all these years? <laughs> yeah, with a tail that long, he can do just about anything with it. And right now I'm playing this in the uh, in the difficult mode, uh, which you only get two hit points. Oh, whoa! Didn't see that coming. There we go. Got the last magic feather, which that's another thing. Um. They never had any significance in the original series, but whatever. Nice to give you uh, bonus bonus items. Including the fruit, which like a lot of games, you get a hundred of them, you get an extra life. <clears throat> Alright, anything up here? Yeah, hey, bonus room. So yeah, that tail of his, you can use it. Use it as a fish, you can use it as a speed wheel, which you see me doing some of the times when picking up speed. And uh, yeah, very versatile it is. Cool. And uh, you also get yeah, those tickets. They uh, they unlock uh, more bonus areas. And I believe the feathers. You get enough of them. Yeah. Um, 
I want to say that gives you more more content in the gallery. Right. <laughs> Lights out. You know what? Nah. It's not exactly worth it. Whoa. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I was supposed to grapple onto it, that two can. As you as you're about to see, they they launch you similar to the barrels in, uh, in Donkey Kong Country. There we go. Oh yeah, you can also grapple. Point. Ooh. And they did a good job designing the levels around around uh, what moves you might be doing. Okay, now where do I go? Oops. There we go. Hmm. Didn't play angles right. But that's alright, they um all the fruit they give, which they, which this game gives out like candy, by the way. Uh, extra lives aren't exactly in short supply. As you can tell by the number up there, 62. Yeah, it's a short game, and it's not exactly not exactly a hard one. So I guess it'd be be for any any platformer fan, any any of the youngins. Or any of the fans of uh, the Marsupilami series? Uh, not quite high enough. Hmm. <clears throat> that wasn't such a good idea. Hey! So some of the level designs, yeah, can also can't help but get some of those vibes from from the Crash series. That and the pickups. Got you this time, sucker. Whoa! <laughs> Don't sell right too early. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I thought I was pretty close. Alright, giant Columbia fruit. 
There's that level in the bag. Yeah, I'll do a few of these, and um, I also do. I also do a boss. As a matter of fact. trial. So you can beat the clock. Silver, not bad. Hooba. <coughs> All right, let's take out. Try to take out the boss. There he is, the sarcophagus spirit. At least I think that's what it's supposed to be. And how these boss these boss levels work, as you can see, it's it's an auto scroller, and only at the end do you get to you get to punch his lights out freely. Well, the auto scrolling portion it does give you that feeling of of suspense and uh, it can wear on you a little bit. Case in point with the last level when everything's set ablaze. Oh, I missed it, didn't I? Whoop. I still got a feather right. Yep. Up, Columbia free, Marsupilami. For Columbia. I think I lost it. But you know what? I can get it again. Maybe. Yep, there it is. Whoa. 
Whoa. All right, spirit. I'm about to wipe that smile right off your face. Laugh it up while you can. Oh. But yeah, very good game is this. I mean, for a short one, I mean, it's also the first game I ever got on launch. For a $20 game and a short one, not bad. <laughs> Who bye bye? <laughs> Magic feathers there. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the gallery a little bit. Let's see if I've unlocked anything. Yeah, you get you get concept art. You get uh, three models of uh, some of the enemies and environments. There's the Marsupilami's nest, very iconic throughout the series. <laughs> oh, yeah, apparently you can you can do that by pressing the buttons in the uh, on the loading screen. You can, you can activate the the catchphrase. Can't hide from me, no sir. Alright, now those, any of those enemies that are covered in those blue flames, they're deadly to touch. Whoa! I've never even been on this level yet, as you can probably tell. Yeah, pretty decent game, and, um... It's one series that I wish I could have known uh, known about a little earlier in life. Yeah, I had a, had a few animated series. Some of them were good, but I think it kind of went downhill after two thousand come two thousand three. First two were pretty decent in their own ways. And uh, even the original comics uh, from Franken himself, not too bad. And this is this isn't the first time our Supalamis had a game. They had a game back in the '90s on uh, uh, back in Generation uh, Four. 
Although this is the first first game since then. In at least 25 years, I believe. Nice grapple. Ah. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. It's been going about the wrong way. There we go. Got it. I missed one. Yeah, well, that's what that's what gives a game replay value. Backtracking for from for bonus stuff. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa! Ah. Oh. Okay, that one's a pretty. That one's pretty hard to get. Uba. Whoa. Okay. I I don't really know how to get it. Not without dying. Come on, Marsu. Yeah, is any wonder? One, one can't help but wonder why this series never made it all that far outside of Europe. Yeah, overall, very decent game. It's short, but it's cool. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll wrap it up here. And uh, for the holiday marathon, wishing you all a happy new year as we head into 2022. And, uh, yeah, very good game for platformer fans, for, uh, for fans of Marsupilami, and for the youngins. Anyway, this has been Garrett McCouchy's Cummings, another game exhibition. Till next time, hooba!